collective. Hello, my collective. Hello. Hope y'all doing good today, collective. Uh, thank you for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. I thank you so very much for just clicking on my video, you guys. Um, to my loyal support, I love you guys, and I got some uh, new cards to show you all, and uh, and I need to help getting around you guys. Um, if y'all know anybody that likes tarot, please invite them to my channel, please. Uh, now let's get into it. What's this Sagittarius want to talk about? This is my Twin Flames and Ascension deck. What, what do we want to talk about? Hang on a minute. Let me get out. So we got Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces, Virgo, Leo, and Aries. What for Pisces? What for Virgo, Virgo, Virgo? Okay, what for Leo? Hang on a minute, y'all. What for? What for Aries? Aries, you're the chosen one. That was the one that fell out. I just put it back. <coughs> so, so Sagittarius, you need to uh, tell yourself, Sagittarius, this is about expanding, expanding your mind, expanding your awareness. 11-11 come out for you, so Sagittarius, maybe you see 11-11 a lot, or you see 9-1-1 a lot, but you need to let go of all expectations of coming together with this person, so it'll come to you. You have to. You have to do that, okay? You gotta let go of expecting this wonderful thing to happen to you, because anytime you do that, it's not going to come to you. Two, two, two. It won't. Okay, and uh, Aquarius, this is about collaborations. This is about integration. This is multidimensional healing. So, Aquarius, you, you heal a lot of people at the moment. I don't know if they realize it, you know, but this is the age of Aquarius, and this is about you're supposed to help heal all, all of humanity. That's why multidimensional healing come out for you. You're someone that is healed, and you can talk to others and show them the way okay then we got pisces sensitive sensitize this is about here we got more sixes six six this is beyond illusion you had to change you need to change your perception you need to change your mind about something uh pisces because it's all an illusion it's something is an illusion that keeps on playing over in your mind or uh or some, or somebody around you needs to change their perception, Pisces. You gotta take stories. It is, and then this Virgo is digesting three, three, three. They're 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 digesting and understanding that they gotta surrender and go through this dark night of the soul. So, uh, you you're helping this Virgo at the moment. Maybe uh, someone that's listening to me go through this dark night of the soul. Um, you you got to change your perception, Virgo. I mean, it, this is a hard time. You got to dig down deep inside. You got to dig down deep and go way down deep into the depths of your soul. And I mean, it'll feel lonely during, during this dark night of soul. But if you got somebody with you that has been through a dark night of soul, then they they totally will get you. Don't worry, Virgo. Oh, and then we got Leo Shine. This is about honoring your agreement, Leo. This is your all's mission is in motion. Look. You gotta honor it. You gotta shine. You're sh you're just shining so bright, Leo. And you, you you know that you have to honor this agreement that you made with your twin flame many many moons ago. And you gotta surrender and go towards it. Oh gosh! And then somebody out here, Aries. Ooh, it's, you know this is a emperor. So somebody's emperor is the chosen one. You're on a fast track to ascension. So. So maybe you're supposed to um maybe you all know a Aries and you all and you know that he is your chosen one or she is your chosen one and you all are 
you know, you're all ascending at the moment. You, you know, this is about ascending back to heaven. So y'all can come together and ascend back as one. You understand? You're a chosen one, though, Aries. Well, all these signs on the table can be, you know. Um, hang on, let me... I'm trying to figure out another card to give us. Hang on, let me get these cards, you guys. I love you guys, and I thank you guys so very, very much. And I appreciate each and every one of you all more than you'll ever know, you guys. I got two decks together. Uh, I'm going to try to get two, like, see the difference. I'm going to try to get two of these out for each sign. What for Sagittarius? Can we have a purple? Hang on, it's shooting out all these first. I'll try to get the other ones in a minute. Okay, so it shot out one of these for here. <laughs> it's funny it coming out right there. He. <laughs> All right, so now I gotta get out. I gotta get out one of these. Okay, now okay, so now I gotta get out some of these plain purple ones. Pop up plain purples. One for Leo, bye bye. One for this, bye bye. Sorry, y'all. I can't take these ones. I already got them. So just bar with me, man. I'll read it to you in just a second. Shit. We don't need that card, you all. Spirit, you're shooting at the ones I don't need. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, that's that's one it needs to be. Okay, okay. Hang on, you guys. <laughs> Hang on. So here, what's that? Okay, so Sagittarius. You got to tell yourself that you are enough and let go of expectations of ever being with that person or whatever it is in your mind that you're expecting to happen. You got to let go of that, okay? This is the power of attractions helping you. Ooh, you're attracted to uh, Uranus. You're, ooh, it went out. 757, twin flame number. Look it up. You're attracted to uh, a genius uh, and you're scared that you're not enough, but Maybe you are enough, and maybe you're all very attracted. Spirit's telling you to expand your mind, okay? And let go of, let go of expecting that you're ever going to be with this genius, okay? That's the only way something will come to you. I'm just letting you know. And Aquarius, collaborate. This multidimensional healing you're integrating into your life at the moment. Oh, this is a spiritual union. Look there, 828829. Look, this is a spiritual union, and Leo is over here saying, I will. So, you know, Leo is, you know, the the fifth house. And Uranus is the eleventh house, I meant to tell you, you know. And, uh, you know, my life path number is number nine. And if you look on this card, nine genius, that's what I am. Yeah, it's my life path number. And Sagittarius is number nine. Did you see that? Yeah. All right, so... um. So, Aquarius, maybe, you, maybe your birthday is 217. <laughs> I like that. So somebody's birthday at Aquarius is two seventeen or two eleven, okay? And this is about um you you will be together in this spiritual union. You don't know it. You don't know it. You're you're helping heal this spiritual union at the moment. I will help heal it and you are helping to heal it. Just letting you know, okay, there you guys. And if you're a Sagittarius, maybe your birthday is the 9th or the 11th or the 13th, okay? Uh, and over here on Pisces, my light, it keeps going out, y'all. I'm going to have to get a new thing, I believe. Uh, Pisces, you know, you had to change your perception. Beyond this illusion, it was a bunch of illusions going around. 
you're receiving the call. Look, you're receiving, you're open to receiving this spiritual knowledge or, or you're open to receiving this love. Oh, I love you, Pisces. This is about a lunar eclipse. You had to change. So when uh, whenever there is a lunar eclipse going on, you'll have to look up this year. I don't know, but this is about you need to change your, look, change, change your perception. You're going to have to change your mind about something, Pisces, and it's going, you might feel sensitive whenever, whenever you find out and receive this news, but it'll help you, all right, Pisces, and maybe your birthday is the 27th. 227. I love you, Pisces, my mommy. That's her birthday. I love you. Peace, mama. And uh, maybe you're 43. Or maybe your birthday's on the 6th or the 12th if you're Pisces, okay? That's all the birthdays I got for that. And y'all need to hit subscribe if I told you birthdays. All right? And that way y'all help me. That's how you help me. Sorry my light went out, y'all. I can't fix it. Um... Okay, and Virgo, you had to surrender and go through this dark night of the soul. Um, and during this Mercury retrograde, you had to reinvent yourself. So you, you're you're uh, implementing new things, and uh, you're you're focusing on the light. You had to reinvent yourself and focus on this light and surrender to this dark night of the soul. You got to go to the light. And you got to, dark night nice soul means you got to go way down deep in your bottom of your pits and let out all them lies and things. And uh, look, looks like a snake wrapped around our See, so You got to let all that snaky shit that you've done out. Uh, excuse me, maybe you're 51 or 37. Or your birthday is on the night, I mean on the 6th or the 1st or the 7th or the... 10th. That's all I can get out of that, you guys, okay? And up here it says, uh, Leo, you need to shine because your all's mission is in motion. You need to honor your agreement and keep the faith. You kept the faith. 12, 12, you kept the faith this whole time and this whole process. He was like, no, I'm not veering off his path. I'm keeping the faith. Spirit, I love you. I'm very devoted and I know it's going to happen. And the tenth house came out, so Leo, maybe you know uh, Capricorn, uh, but this is about your uh, your focusing on your job and your career. Uh, you know, in life, that's what the tenth house means. Uh, you know, and this is about um, complete completing out a cycle, the world. So maybe you had faith in this process that you was going to. To help the whole world. Yeah, that was your agreement. I, and I know that's what it's saying. And, or and maybe you're 34 or 32. And if you are, hit subscribe and hit like. And maybe your birthday's on the 5th or the 8th or the 16th or the 7th. That's all I got. Okay, Leo. Maybe if that's your birthdays. Oh, wowdy woo woo. And here's Aries, and he's all about action, or she is, and this is old Action Jackson now. And you are a chosen one, and don't doubt it, Aries. And, and any of these signs on the table, don't doubt that you're all um, a chosen one, because you are. <laughs> and you're on a fast track to this ascension because you trust yourself. Oh, you trust yourself. That's great. Keep trust in yourself. If you can't trust anyone else, trust yourself. And these animals are helping to... Are helping you along your way. Look at all the animals around her. See all the animals. Um, this is about second house owning, you know, and this belongs to Taurus, and this is about your finances and and your stability. Okay, so maybe you're a you're an Aries and a Taurus cusper. Like your birthday is either like four. 4, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, something like that. And if it is, that's what you are, your Aries Taurus Cusper. And you need to own up and trust yourself that you can talk to this person and ascend back because you're all both chosen ones. So maybe your birthday's on the 8th or your 26th or your 31 or your birthday's on the 1st or the 11th or the 4th. Okay, that's all I got for birthdays right there. Okay, you guys? And for Aquarius, your birthday could... 
I don't think I said all of it up here. Your birthday might be on the 11th or the 12th or the 2nd or the 17th or the 18th. Now I did all of this stuff, okay? All righty, you guys. All righty. Hang on, let me... I want to pull out one of these little cards for all signs. What's this Sagittarius need to know? If it if it sounds goofy, don't pay no mind. Maybe it wasn't for you. He's waiting on you to come to him. So whoever is Sagittarius is, they're waiting on you to come to him. Okay. What about Aquarius? They're waiting on a genius to come to them. <laughs> Uh, they ain't no game plan over here. Oh, no, they ain't no game plan over here. No, 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 not for Aquarius. We don't play no freaking games. What about, uh, Pisces? What's Pisces need to know? I love you guys, and I hope this helps you. What's Pisces need to know about receiving? Change your mind, change. Sensitive. It's an equal give and take relationship. Oh, look, our Pisces. This is this is an equal give and take. You you receive and give love very well. You all ch you changed your mind and you 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 know this is an equal give and take relationship. I love that spirit. It can go for all these signs. Any of these messages out here. And what did old Virgo wanted to know? Virgo going through dark night soul. Focus on the light, not the dark, baby. Focus on the light, not the dark, baby. What's the fuck gonna need no day spirit? Please give a good one, not something crazy. Please get a good one. Follow the signs and numbers, Virgo. See, told you you're going through dark night soul because you'll start seeing a lot of numbers. I told you you would. Oh, I love you, spirit. I love you, spirit, for giving a good one. Keep giving a good one. I love you, spirit. <laughs> oh, and <sighs> Leo, shine. You're shining your light out onto the world. You had faith in this process this whole time, and you can't mess with a true star from Babylonian times. Well, it says, you know, the F word, but that's what it is. You can't, you can't mess with a star from Babylonian times, and people know that. People seeing it. What about Aries, chosen one? Aries, chosen one. What about Aries, chosen one, spirit? What about Aries, chosen one? Good one for Aries, please. A good one. What about Aries, chosen one? That wasn't a good one. I'm not going to read it. Aries, chosen one. Aries, chosen one. Aries, chosen one. Oh, they're hiding their feelings. So whoever this Aries is, they're hiding their feelings from somebody out here now. Or hiding their feelings from you. Okay. Um, hang on a minute, you guys. I hope this reading helps today because I mean, my channel has like went plummeted down, you all. I don't understand. It's like somebody got, they're getting mad at me because I was being seen in a spiritual community and now they're like, ghosting me like they're not even letting my work get around it's pitiful it's pitiful and this is all i'm going to do for y'all is the last one so i can keep my readings a little bit shorter um so this uh sagittarius the power of attraction is helping you and uh Go towards this Uranus genius. You need to let go of expectations, though, with this person and expand your mind. He's waiting on you to come to him. I don't understand uh, some men, but, um, oh, they're conflicted. They've got multiple choices. This person is inconsistency. They show inconsistency all the time and with their decisions. So whoever this person is, they're attracted to you. They they know that you're a genius, but um, they're expecting you to come to them. But this person has multiple choices, so uh, I don't know if you want that person. Anything else for uh, Sagittarius? Oh, S -s -solit solitary. 
They're withdrawn and lonesome, and they're single. They got multiple choices. I don't get that. Like, they got a lot of options, but this person is in. They're they're inconsistent. They they don't know how to follow through the right way. They they've made a lot of decisions. They're wanting to be single. They're just wanting to be single. This, they're that's just a player. Sounds like. And look here, ain't no playing games with an Aquarius genius that whoever he's attracted to. Twenty twenty. They ain't no playing no damn games over here. Uh uh. So if he's doing it to an Aquarius, you ain't never gonna get that person because uh, you are um, inconsistent. What about Aquarius? Sorry, I'm just being honest. I'm an Aquarius. That's how I know. This is a spiritual union. Uh, you will show people your multidimensional healing. People wants to collaborate with you, Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Oh. <laughs> oh, someone influences dark attachments, third parties. See, they ain't no playing no games over here. They was a third party trying to um, attach to you. It's like wolves is following you. Look, they was trying to influence you. These wolves are just waiting on you to come out like your prey. They want you to have a dark attachment in your spiritual union. No, uh -uh. time, weight, cycles, infinity. You, you've this. These people um, has tried to attach a dark attachment to you as third party. They want to keep you waiting and waiting, and 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 you've did this shit infinity with this person, Aquarius, whoever it is. And what about equal give and take, receiving, uh, change your perception. One more. Oh, you feel euphoria. You all feel like chasing thrills. And you feel joy and laughter with each other. And someone's having memories of you, um, Pisces. Uh, this is a... It must have been a bittersweet ending with that person. They're dwelling and reminiscing. So, someone just wants to have a thrill. 22-22. They're just... Um, they like you, they like your laugh, and they 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 know that you you got an equal give and take marriage, and they're dwelling on past shit. They can't stop dwelling on past shit, past memories. Uh, follow the signs and numbers, Virgo. Through this dark night of the soul, focus on the light. Focus on the light. Well, Virgo need no day spirit. Thank you, spirit. I love you very 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 much. And what else? What else? Oh, howdy woody. Oh, yeah. This is mine. This is my old man. Yeah, and he's following the signs and the numbers. He's paying attention to you. This is your all's commitment. This is promises and fidelity. Oh, follow the signs. This Virgo is very, uh, this Virgo is very trustworthy and truthful to you. This is your masculine energy. I love you. 23, 23, 5, 5. Oh. And I know my divine masculine is a, his life pack number is five, and I'm a nine, and nine plus five is 14. One plus four is five. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all want to know who your twin flame is, I'll tell you how to do that. With your life past numbers, like I just told you, I'm a nine, and my husband's a five. So nine plus five is 14. You add those together, it equals back to a five. So if you, you want to know who your twin is, you got to add up your all's. Life past numbers, and if it equals back around to one of the tother of your all's numbers, then you're all twins. That's how you know it. That's how I know I'm twins with my old man. See, all right, just wanted to let you guys know. All right, what about uh, and uh, please remember when I teach you all something like that to make sure to acknowledge where you learned this information from. Because people likes to take everything I say, and that's why I'm not getting around you guys, and that's why I need your all's help. Don't, I want you, I need respect. I respect you all, and I hope that you all respect me the same as I respect you. So remember, if you're all readers, and you're coming over here, and you heard what I just said of how I taught you of who your twin flame is, that's how you'll know. If you add them life past numbers together, yours and theirs, and it equals back to one of your all's numbers, that's how you know your twins. Don't go... 
remember, I told you this, Pamela, Pamela Gillum over here. So if y'all want to acknowledge me, that'd be good because I've acknowledged a bunch of you all. So make sure to remember to acknowledge me when you go stealing my information. All right, Leo, they can't mess with a true star from Babylonian times. See, I'm in my, um, my Leo energy. This is my, you know, Aquarius, that is a sign I was born in, but when you're going towards the future, you shine, you see? Can't fuck with stu a true star from Babylonian times. You had faith in the process. Okay, thank you for that spirit. So, uh... So, your all's mission is emotion. You you all had faith this in this process this whole time. You was just uh, uh, misunderstood. Someone was mis... You felt misunderstood because uh, you was a lost soul at one time and you was playing the victim. And you had to... You kept learning from your mistakes, you, you know? And uh, when you decide to stop doing shit over and over again, you know, you don't go back and do the same thing anymore, you know? And nourish, that's how your soul feels nourished now. This is self-harmony, soul growth and comfort. You feel like comfort now. You feel like comfort to your divine masculine because, um, you're, you, you know, you, you're helping all these lost souls that, it, you know, is playing victim and, you know, you gotta learn from your mistakes. Okay, you guys? And what about Aries, this chosen one? Trust yourself. Hang on a second. They are, they're hiding their feelings. Okay, oh, I like that spirit. Oh, look, pride. This, uh, you had to let go of your ego, you know? And um, that's, that's why they're hiding their feelings, because they're still in their ego. They might be a little bit arrogant, and uh, this is stubborn love. They're stubborn. They're stubborn with their love, but their heart is singing to them, and this is an inner knowing. This is telepathy. you got to use your intuition. So you and uh, this Aries, this chosen one, you, you all have telepathy with one another. You both have an inner knowing that you're all made for each other, and Spirit's telling you to get out, the, to drop the ego and tell let your heart sing to that person that you love, Aries. And if you don't, 27, 27, 99. If you love somebody, you got to let them know, okay? But they're hiding their feelings that they love you. And um, but they want to love you, but they're just scared to come towards you, maybe. Maybe one of y'all, maybe you, one of you all's in a partnership. One of y'all's got vows, and you got to, you got to learn um, to let, to let that person go, okay? Unspoken regrets, lost words, disappointment. They're, they're, they've been having a lot of regrets. They've, they've they got lost words. Like, they can't even get out a word to you. They feel disappointed. But they're realizing and understanding that they're going through an awakening at the moment. That's why Epiphany, you know, is right here. Deja vu, you know, this was about your past lives, karmic lessons, you had to, re you kept repeating the same patterns over and over again, you know, you gotta let go of that ego, and feel beauty, and you're, you know, you're charming, and graceful, and luxurious, so, you know, you gotta, you gotta do that, you guys, I hope y'all love my new cards, if you love my new cards, please hit subscribe, you guys, I need to help more than y'all ever know. And I'm going to get this reading out today for the collective. And I hope it helps somebody. Because I thought it was a pretty good reading. And I love you guys. And I thank you very much. And um, let me give you a little love message. Hang on a minute. I don't know what it says, you all. I'm just picking back here. I don't know what it says. Oh, heart admire. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you're close to one another. Oh, somebody that's you big. Admire. It's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner. Oh, your partner loves you big. They love you so much. 2929, twin flame masculine. I love you. Y'all made vows and y'all love each other so much. They just love you so big. I hope it helps you guys. Like I said, please subscribe to my channel, y'all. I need to, I need to help. And please hit like to all my people that come back here and look at me every day. I love you guys. Peace.